Hi everyone, I'm Kerry Lou and thanks so much for stopping by my channel. It's holiday time, yay! And I want to show you some of my favorite ways of adding some holiday glamour to regular everyday looks. But first, I want to take this moment to thank you all for helping to support this channel and helping to make it grow. When I first started Silver Style Studio, I had no idea what it would become. As many of you know, I've been a makeup artist and hairstylist for many years, running around New York City, working on photo shoots, video productions, and special events. It all started out with one video, me doing my mom's makeup. And she was about 84 at the time, and now she's 88, and she still loves her makeup routine. Since then, that video has been seen 1,200,000 times. I mean, I can't get my head around that number. That's crazy. She's famous and she doesn't really know it. She doesn't watch YouTube. <laughs> Since that time, I've made so many friends from all around the world here on YouTube. I have to give a shout out to some of my friends. Jen Lambie from Australia, Smitha from India, Cat Mama, I don't know where you're from, sorry. Linda, Barbara, I wish I could name you all. Some of you check in with me and say hi every time I put up a video and I can't tell you how much that warms my heart. Thank you so much. We're building a community of like-minded women and I hope you're all enjoying the holiday season and I wish you peace and joy in 2021. I know that we're not all able to be with our loved ones this holiday, but thank goodness for technology like Zoom, WhatsApp, House Party and FaceTime to keep us connected during these strange times. I can't wait to show you some beauty tips to add a little holiday glamour to your next video holiday get together. We'll be talking makeup, nails, and even how to choose the right jewelry for your skin tone. I'm wearing some of my favorite Ana Luisa jewelry today that they kindly gifted me. The more makeup tutorials I do, the more I realize that to make the most of ourselves, to be our best selves, and to age more beautifully, we must take a more holistic approach. It's not just about makeup. And going into the new year, it's a great time to think about how we perceive and define beauty because it's so much more than makeup. Although, you know, I do enjoy my makeup too. <laughs> but I'm sure many of you have heard the following poem often credited to Audrey Hepburn, but it was in fact written by American humorist Sam Levinson for his granddaughter. It was said that it was one of Audrey Hepburn's favorite poems, and she read it to her children on the last Christmas she spent on Earth. It's called Time-Tested Beauty Tips. For attractive lips, speak words of kindness. For lovely eyes, seek out the good in people. For a slim figure, share your food with the hungry. For beautiful hair, let a child run his or her fingers through it once a day. For poise, walk with the knowledge that you never walk alone. People, even more than things, have to be restored, renewed, revived, reclaimed and redeemed. Never throw out anyone well, we all know that Audrey Hepburn loved her makeup too. She was quite a glamorous lady. And I'm happy to continue to give you makeup tips, which I'm going to do in a little while. Makeup is something I love to do, but it takes more than makeup. I want to encourage you to do simple things that will help build your beauty foundation. Things like drinking more water, eating more healthy foods, exercise, care for your skin, cut down on salt, and here's an important thing. Make sure you get enough you time for some of the day. Do some things that relax you, that revive your soul. Even if it's simply five minutes of nice mindful breathing and it's going to show in your face. Okay, so a change of pace now. I'm going to give you those holiday tips like I promised. Why don't you join me while I get ready for my holiday Zoom party? Let's go. The night before a special event, I give myself a manicure. Most of the time, I don't wear any nail polish. 
I find my nails grow much better without it. That way, hand cream or essential oil can penetrate and moisturize them really nicely. But just for this Zoom party, I'll paint them. I'm going to file them a bit using this crystal nail file. One of my viewers suggested I try a crystal nail file and I must say that I really like it a lot. They're so much gentler on my nails than the emery board. I'm sorry I forgot who suggested it, but if you're seeing this, make yourself known in the comments below and thank you. That's what I love about this channel. We share some great tips and not all from me. A lot of you have really great suggestions in the comments area. Next I'll add this base coat. This is going to keep my nails from staining. It's also going to make my nail polish go on a lot smoother and last longer. Next I'll paint them this cherry red from Opie. I try to cover each nail in three strokes. One on each side of the nail and one smoothing stroke right through the middle. Here's a tip. Don't paint your nails before you go to bed. I've done that on many an occasion. I think they're dry, but when I wake up, well, they're a big mess. Best to paint them and then watch a movie. I feel like I've run out of movies to watch lately. What are your top three movies of all time? Something that's going to keep me mesmerized for a while while my nails dry. Now for a quick coat of protective gloss. And voila! Okay, makeup time. I have on my everyday makeup look. It's very classic. And you can find a few examples on how I achieved this look in some of my other videos. But right now, I want to show you how to make the ordinary a bit more magical. I'm going to create a nice healthy glow on my cheeks. The kind of rosy glow that you get when you've been out for a brisk walk in the snow on a winter's day. This is from a brand called RMS Beauty. RMS make their cosmetics using organic ingredients and their vision was to make cosmetics that are actually good for your skin. This is their cheek to lip color and as the name implies, it's made to go on your lips or your cheeks. This color is called Beloved. It looks quite intense, but it goes on nice and super soft. So I'm going to apply it first of all with my fingers, starting around this area. I'm just putting it onto my apples, the apples of my cheeks, blending it nice up into my temples a little bit. That way you get a nice upswept look. And it's as simple as that. Now let me do the other side. And that creates a nice rosy glow. So quick and simple. I, I love this look. It reminds me of when little children come out from playing in the snow and their cheeks are really rosy. As some of you may know, I have a little granddaughter now. She's about, um, how old is she now? Seven months. And now she's been going out in the cold weather and she has a little snowsuit on and she comes back in the house and her cheeks are bright red. It's so cute. And that's what we're trying to create here. <laughs> Good luck with that, right? Next, I'm going to use their Luminizer 
in magic. Some people wonder if it's okay to use a highlighter on older skin and I would say yes but you don't want to use anything that's too sparkly or glittery because that's going to highlight your wrinkles not just your lovely cheekbones. That's why I love this RMS one. It just gives a nice subtle glow, a nice highlight without the sparkle. RMS is a little bit pricey because of the pure organic ingredients that go into making these products, but I will have some blushes and illuminators for different budgets in the video description below. And I'm just popping this on the top of my cheekbones. Do you see that? I think it makes such a huge difference. It really livens up the face. Next, I'm going to add a little of my favorite eyeshadow highlighters to my eyelid. That's going to add a little bit of bling. This eyeshadow, these two here, are from NARS, but I took them out of their compacts and I put them into my own palette. This is what I take with me for photo shoots and things like that. The color of the duo is called Alhambra. And the reason I love this eyeshadow so much is because it's not glittery. One color is goldish, and the other one has almost a little pink undertone. So this is the goldish tone, and I'm going to put it right here. I think this is going to make my eye makeup pop a little bit and look a little bit more special. I'm using a small brush. If you're just getting into a small area like this, it's best to use a small brush. And I shall use a little bit here. Oh, that's going on nice. It's kind of making my eyes look more green too. That's a bonus. So my eyes are kind of hooded, but at least for the moment, I still have a little bit of eyelid that I can play with here. So I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, pinkish color here. It's like a champagne color. I'm going to put it right under my arch under the arch of the brow right there. It just needs a tiny little spark. You don't have to use a lot of highlighter for it to be effective. Get this little curl out of the way there. Okay. Doesn't that make a big difference? <gasps> Subtlety, but it's there and I think it looks great. And when you want to look your best, it's always good to go with a second coat of mascara. On a day-to-day -day basis, I just use a very light layer of mascara, but it really does make a difference when you add another coat. This one is an old favorite, it's L'Oreal. L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black. It's a real dark black, I like that. Okay, and now for the lips. So I did my lips earlier, but I'm wearing Brick by MAC. That's for the lip liner. And just a tip here, do make sure your lip pencil is nice and sharp. And if you have a problem with your lip liner pencils breaking, um, a good idea is to put them in your fridge or your freezer first. And that stops the waxy pencil getting all squishy into your pencil sharpener. And when you're doing your lips, I never like to go more than a pencil tip wider than my own lip. So if you stay by that rule, that's going to stop you getting that, like whatever happened to Baby Jane look. For those of you who know that Bette Davis film, we don't want to look like that. <laughs> okay, so that's my rule of thumb. And also you can fill in a little bit with the pencil to make your lipstick last longer. You can put it on the side of your lips like so. That way you don't just have a thin line around your lips. So the lip color that I'm going to use today is Bobbi Brown's Hollywood Red. And as you can see from this palette, Bobbi Brown has a lot of different colored reds. Um, this is my professional palette. I mean, I think it is available to the public, but I don't think you'd want to spend the money and not all these colors would be right for you. But this is what I bring to photo shoots with me. So there are so many different colored reds. That's why I maintain that 
there's a red for everyone. Even if you think you can't wear red, there's a red for you. But today I'm going to use Hollywood red. I already have that on, but maybe we'll touch up just a little bit. I like to scrape mine out of my palette. Mm, that's nice. I didn't think my lips needed that much touching up, but now I'm touching up and it looks so much more vibrant. This is a really nice classic color. It's kind of a neutral. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. So I feel like almost anybody can wear this color. So now that we have the red lips on, let me give you a few tips on how to keep it on. A lot of us have trouble with red lipstick running into these vertical lines. So I have a few ideas that might help you. So uh, when you do your foundation and your concealer, it's a good idea to just put a little bit of the concealer or the foundation around your lip line a little extra where those lines are. I like to use a brush because it gets into them. And then you can use um, a little powder. I like to use uh, white translucent Ben Nye powder. I've had that in my makeup kit for years. And you just put powder around your lips before you put that lip pencil on. And then another thing you can do is when you have it at this stage, just take some tissue I actually like to take a single ply. It seems to absorb better. Let me show you. Let's see if we can do this. Hey, I did it. Okay, so you can blot here. That's going to stop it getting on your glass if you're drinking a glass of wine. And gently press around the outside. See, not much is coming off already. Okay. And then I can take my powder again that I just used and put a little extra around the outside of that red lipstick. Now, if you're wondering if that might be a little bit drying, um, I have a tip for that too coming up. But first of all, I want to show you, this is a very, well, a classic makeup trick, a classic makeup artist trick, I should say. And that is to use a little gold eyeshadow in the center of your lips. And that's going to give you a more sculptural look to your mouth. If you just used a shimmery color all over your mouth, you would still, it, it, it would, um, it wouldn't help with the dimension of your mouth, if you know what I mean, because it would reflect all over. So we want to get the reflection right in the middle. I'm not going to dip my lip brush into my nice eyeshadow palette, but I'll scrape off a tiny little bit of eyeshadow, put it somewhere else. I use just one of these little trays. Then I'll take my lip brush and apply it right in the middle, right there, a little bit on the top too. Smooth it out with my finger a little bit. Now do you see how that changed the color? I like it the other way too, but this is just an alternative. And it's gold, and it's red, and it's red, and it's gold, and that's Christmas, right? So, um, that is one thing, and we can even take it a step further. This is a fantastic thing to do too. This is um, Grande Lips by Grande Cosmetics. It's a clear gloss, and I'm going to put it right over that gold. Tap them together. There, ta-da! Okay, so this is our makeup look. But don't forget to add some of your favorite jewelry. A question some people ask me is, if you're a cool skin tone, can you wear gold jewelry? And vice versa. I'm a cool neutral skin tone and I do wear gold and silver. But here's a tip. 
If you're wearing a jewelry color that could clash with your skin tone, keep it light and minimal. So I personally wouldn't go for a big chunky gold necklace, but I can wear something delicate and minimal like these Ana Luisa pieces. Often you'll find different colored metals in the same piece of jewelry, so it's fine to mix and match. And that completes my holiday zoom look. And now I'm going to do a little Christmas zoom with my family. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you want to keep in touch, please follow me on Instagram. I do post a lot more often there. So until next time, I wish you and yours a beautiful holiday season and a very happy new year.